Roxy Mason spends her retirement quilting at home in Sacramento. It's like putting a puzzle together. She's been quilting for 10 years. I just find it challenging, also relaxing. Stitched with love, Roxy makes quilts for her family. Grandchildren and brothers and sisters, great nieces and nephews, and at least in my family, that uh, as far as quilting and the culture of growing up around quilts, it would have been more for uh, comfort. The International Quilt Museum says quilting has a rich and diverse history from the ancient to the modern world. And the first evidence that we know of quilting is actually found in e an Egyptian tomb. So the idea of quilting and its patterning is really ubiquitous throughout the world and throughout time. Some quilters and scholars say enslaved African Americans may have used coated quilts to navigate the Underground Railroad, but the museum says there's no evidence of that happening. Within a family, within a culture, could they have created quilts and used them to portray a message? That is something we've seen through quilting, always throughout quilting. So I do think that these messages are often found in quilts, and what that message is, is unique to the individual. I stitch down all kinds of African fabrics. Yvonne Warren uses quilts to promote black culture. Everybody should learn about everyone's culture. She owns Jewels and Fiber Art Studio in Sacramento and mostly makes art to wear. I make garments um, that have a lot of quilting techniques in them and some of my purses as well. I like crazy quilts and a lot of um, stitching that goes on the top to give it some surface design and texture. For Yvonne, quilting is an outlet for creative expression. So I use my own techniques when it comes to making a piece and it may go, I don't, I don't know if it'll go on a bed or be a wrap, but it'll be a piece of art somewhere. Oh. Oh. Wow. The Sisters Quilting Collective in Sacramento encourages African American artists and others to share their love for quilting. Sonia Lopes joined the group from the start in 2012. My family became biracial and I wanted to learn more about African art and culture and if we learn, maybe we can learn to do better. The group meets each month to talk about fiber arts and ways to give back to the community. Well, we do a lot of quilts for um, underprivileged children. We make fleece hats and scarves and give them away during the winter. With the use of fabric, thread, and needles, quilters tell stories that represent black people, history, and culture for all to celebrate. We have some famous quilters, Faith Ringgold, and, and the, you know, there's a tremendous list uh, of women uh, and men who um, create and tell stories. And people who n wouldn't ordinarily find that information in a book may find it expressed in a quilt. 